Aptera just released its full Delta design, which is much more refined and polished. This is a full review of the Delta design, including the hidden diamond motif throughout, the major center console upgrade, and a bunch of other surprises, starting with the back of the vehicle and the new rear hatch design. The wide rear deck is gone, with the hatch extending all the way to the back of the vehicle. This is a much more elegant design choice and more practical for getting things in and out of the back. There's no room anymore to do knock-knock to open the trunk. Although it was demonstrated on Gamma, there was no guarantee that knock-knock would make it into the production vehicle. There is now impact-resistant foam on the corners here, adding just a little bit more protection. And the rear vent for the air outlet is much wider than Gamma. And now on to this rear light, which is seen in action. During the Gamma reveal, we learned it has three purposes. It's a reverse indicator, and it lights up the license plate and connector. We also learned at that time that the light is powered by one powerful LED. We can see the wide-angle backup camera is just below the license plate, while the camera for the rear visibility screen is positioned higher up. As for the changes to the front of the vehicle, you can see there's a bit more spacing between the wheel pant light and ultrasonic sensor. In the side-by-side, -side, it looks a lot cleaner on Delta, which is a definite theme. The upper and lower arms have black covers to match the black belly, and there's no more front logo since the vehicle itself is the logo. Delta has a more defined side profile than Gamma. The black belly makes the vehicle appear sleeker. The interior volume of Gamma is 1% bigger than before, and a little sleekness was lost in the process. The change to Delta makes the center of the vehicle stand out much more. And now we get to the fun part, which is the interior. The center console has the biggest upgrade by far. The design choices in Delta are much more elevated. As promised, the center console has not and will never turn into a big mess of plastic that you see in other vehicles at this price point. Here you can see several different materials, including cork and what looks like a surprise of copper that must be based on the exterior copper between the solar cells. There is also a defined place to put your phone where you can see it. Aptera's website currently does not list wireless charging as a feature, but wireless charging was mentioned as a feature for Delta during the fully charged live event in September. So, fingers crossed. Now Gamma had a much brighter center console with light-colored pineapple leather and bungee material for the cup holders. Here Delta feels much more subtle and sophisticated. In fact, it looks like everything below the dash except for the striking cup holder accent is a dark color. So that design choice of even more defined dark and light colors from the exterior carries over to the interior. You can now see a totally open design for the armrest and storage underneath with the side nets. The center console looks especially sharp from the side profile. Moving on to the dash, you can see what looks like metal accents including the copper material around the blacked out corner vents with a metallic material extending across the dash. There is also a metallic material in the panel where the dome lights and hazard button are located. It's a small touch, but a good improvement over the plastic in Gamma. Now, if the material is aluminum, it ties in quite nicely with the aluminum belly pan used for skin cooling. We learned from Jason Hill, Chief of Design, that the yoke will have volume up and down buttons on the left and a horn on the right. Due to regulation reasons, I don't expect the horn can be reprogrammed, but I think it's very possible that the buttons on the left can either be reprogrammed, as co-CEO Chris Anthony said back in September, or at the very least be multifunctional. Next is a left stock, which is also present in Gamma. The icons are a little faint, but it clearly shows you can control your high and low beams, turn signal, and windshield wiper like any standard stock. Jason Hill said he expects the stock to be eventually removed from the vehicle approximately one to two years into production. Let's get to the center screen. On the top left, you have park, reverse, and drive. Neutral is missing, probably because it's rarely needed, so you get a cleaner layout. It looks like there's a backup gear selector below the center screen, similar to various Tesla models. This almost certainly is for redundancy, so the vehicle can still be operated if the screen malfunctions. Continuing on with the icons along the bottom of the screen, there's an Aptera icon in the corner, which I assume takes you into a main menu. Then you've got music, an up arrow, which seems like a stand-in for the up and down window controls that are in Gamma, and driver and passenger seat icons, which are most likely for the seat heaters. It is not confirmed at this time that seat heaters will make it into the first vehicles off the production line. However, according to Aptera's website, we plan to equip the vehicle with seat heaters. We are designing this vehicle specifically for a lot of cold countries that love electric vehicles. Continuing on, we have HVAC, temperature display, front and side defrost, volume up and down, which is positioned within easy reach of the passenger, and this dark goggles icon, which looks like dark mode. 
Along the top right corner, you have the time, along with icons for Wi-Fi, the data signal, and Bluetooth. Then in the top center, you have speed and state of charge. According to some Tesla Model 3 owners, while having the speed off to the right may intuitively seem like a bad idea, in reality, it's not a problem and easy to adapt to. We expect the screen's layout and functionality to get better over time thanks to over-the-air updates. Regarding the over-the-air updates, Aptera's website says, While we aren't planning on this for the initial production of vehicles, we have all the capabilities for it. We will introduce extra features as over-the-air updates as we progress the technology to pair with our Aptera app. The idea is for your Aptera to be reusable and easily upgradable. You can see the document holder has gone through some changes since the gamma renders. It protrudes just slightly and is all black. It's not a full traditional glove box due to structural reasons and engineering complexities that would go against the ethos of efficiency. And now getting into the trunk. It's a bit dark, but it looks like there are four distinct areas to attach tie-down hooks for securing a pet on a harness or for things like a bike, groceries, or a cargo net. The back of the seats look like the same fabric material as the front. Having color on the back of the seats was pretty fun on Gamma, but Delta looks just that much more tasteful. And now let's talk about what I'm most excited about for Delta, and that is a very clear diamond motif throughout the interior of the vehicle. Let's round up all the diamonds, starting at the beginning with the iconic solar cells along the hood, dash, top, and hatch found in the full solar package. Next up, the black material on the top of the yoke where you place your hands has a diamond shape along with this light textured part of the dash. I mean, come on. There are also diamonds in the nets for the center console. And it's in the stitching pattern of the fabric found on the armrest and the lower part of the door panels. This pattern continues on the lighter part of the seats. Even the air take vent in the front has diamonds. Let me know if you see any others. So there are several ways the interior reflects the exterior. There's the two-tone design, seems like copper and possibly aluminum, and the diamond pattern. Delta has reached a new level of refinement and speaks volumes about the engineering and design teams. To pre-order an Aptera, scan the QR code or click the link below to get $30 off the $100 refundable deposit. Thank you for watching and Happy New Year!